Hello and welcome to Sassy Scrapbooking. In this video I'm going to take you step by step through my process of creating this really super easy, super fast Christmas card. So let's go ahead and get started. In the Cricut Design Space I've already gone ahead and inserted my images. And the images that I've inserted are from the Santa Claus card and it is number MB 3771 from Anna's Christmas Kitch cartridge. The first thing that I want to do is go ahead and adjust the size of my image. I'm going to adjust it to 7.72 in height which with the aspect ratio locked is going to automatically adjust my width to 21.08. Now what that's going to get me, it's going to get me a card size of 6 inches in height and 9.26 inches in width. Another thing is that the envelope is one piece, so I need to make sure that when I'm making my adjustments that the envelope is no wider or taller than 11 and a half inches. With the measurements that I've given you here, the envelope is going to be 11.44 inches in width and 7.63 inches in height. So let's go ahead and send the images to the map preview screen and take a look to make sure everything is there. And it looks like we're going to need the score tool on two of the mats. And everything else looks good, so let's send the images to be cut on the Cricut Explorer. Okay, it looks like all my pieces are cut now and what I'm going to do is fold the card base on the score line and what I like to do is put the pieces together, especially when there's as many as there are on this particular card. I like to place them on the card and kind of assemble, dry assemble them before I end up adhering any of the pieces down. So that's what I'm going to do next. I also wanted to mention that the cardstock that I'm using is, uh, the, the blank cardstock that I'm using, I should say, is from Michaels. It's their recollections, and I always buy them when they go on sale uh, for like $2 for a pack. And the base cardstock I am using, it is a stack from DCWV called Cranberry Christmas and I believe I got that at Michael's as well. And this is what my Santa Claus is going to look like before I adhere it to the card. So now I'm really just going to take the pieces apart now that I know where they go and I'm going to adhere them together. And just a note here, I am going to use the Scotch Quick Dry Adhesive Glue. Um, I've been using it for years and years and it works really well and it dries really fast. But I have had a few of you um, ask me what kind of tip I'm using on my little glue bottle and what kind of glue I'm using. Well, I ordered this um, glue bottle and it comes with the tip and it's called a fine tip fine line applicator. And in the comments below, I'll go ahead and add the link where I got it. Um, it and it came in when I purchased it it came in a pack of two so what I do is I take my scotch quick dry adhesive glue and I uh, transfer the glue into that bottle because the tops don't match on the two different bottles and with that said let's go ahead and finish assembling the Santa Claus and adhering it to the face of the card and my card is done so now let's go ahead and work on the envelope. With the envelope I'm going to take my bone folder and I am going to go ahead and crease along all the score lines. Then I'm just going to use some of my liquid glue on the side flaps and then bring the bottom flap up and adhere it. Just hold it there for a second so that it'll take and bring the top flap down and my envelope is complete. At this time I would like to take one more moment of your time and thank you for watching my video at Sassy Scrapbooking. Please subscribe to my channel and watch my other videos. I will continue to add new videos as my adventures with the Cricut Explorer continue. Bye for now.